Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. I'm cooking some Guyana Huri fish curry with some mango and okra and also some jingi. Let me know in the comments how many of you and when last you had jingi and I'm also putting some shrimp and these are some wild Argentinian shrimp and they're red and they're wild and I love them. So I'm mixing that with the jingi with some coconut milk. And again, as you're getting on, tell me in the comments when last you had jingi and when last you had huri fish. For all my Guyanese friend and Trinidad friends, I, I forgot one and told me what the, in Trinidad what they call the huri, but I'm making, I'm cooking the huri fish, the huri fish curry uh, with that scary teeth and um, that we actually got in um, Cane Grove, Cane Grove Mahaika. Big love to Cane Grove Mahaika. This is the last of this amazing huri fish. I love it. And it's like that big head and I love it. And it's like the huri fish head is the, is the taste you're looking for. So let me show you some of the ingredients we're having. And we're cooking out here. We're supposed to come a little earlier, but Tommy was on a call, you know. And so we took the call and I know you guys are busy. So thank you as you're getting on here. Thank you for being part of us. Leave a comment and a shout out where you're from. We are here in South Florida, um, in Jupiter. We are here in our other garden, Jupiter, enjoying a nice, beautiful coolness. And uh, we're just sending our love and energy to the, throughout the whole of Florida for all the recovering that's going on and everything like that. Our energy is coming to you. So take a minute, put that aside for one second and watch this because you're gonna put a little joy in your heart right now. Believe me, I feel like I'm in that situation because all, so many of my fans, friends, family are involved in this, okay? So I'm sending, let's send the energy of love out there. Let's send energy of love out there, okay? Let's pray for Florida. And uh, for all of you who are in Florida, please shout out, says, hey, listen, I'm from Tampa, Florida. Hey, I'm from um, Claremont, Florida. I'm from Orlando. I'm from Kissimmee. Okay, shout out where you're from. So let's check it out, what we're cooking. I have the fire going on there with the oil heating up. And this is some of the, the huri fish that I'm cooking. Check it out, huri fish, huri fish. And the head, like I said, is the favorite part. It's a scary fish with a big mouth. Um, that big scary teeth. I gotta show you guys before I uh, before I um, cook it. And uh, guys, this is the masala curry powder and jeera that I'm using. And we also have some tomato paste. And these are all the fresh ingredients: tomato and um, some coconut milk, ginger, turmeric, and all these fresh garden green seasoning. And I also have some frozen green mangoes. And check this out. These are the, these are those big shrimp I was telling you guys about here. Oh, okay. Take out the music. Okay. All right, guys. So these are the big shrimp I was telling you about. If you go to your store, your local store, always look look for these guys. They're all fresh and they're wild caught, and they're from Argentina, and they're red. They looks like they're cooked, but they're not. And um, it's so delicious. I love the shrimp. The only reason I'm using the shrimp for this vegetable is because we don't have any other shrimp. And I figure I'll just use this because normally we'll use this with just some garlic and butter and things like that and it will be so tasty. And um, I'm also going to cover this. We're outside here. Um, oh, this is the jingi. Jingi is like a gore. It's like a part of like, um, the bitter melon the car the um lufa which is the um nenwa is the lufa we call it here uh, so this is the jingi the like longer skinnier one eh, so this is what we are having i cut them up all nice and round i love it tell me your favorite your favorite way to cook this i'll be cooking this with a with a curry and some tomato and um um coconut milk thank you guys thank you as you're getting on here, shout out where you're from. Let me know what you're doing for this Sunday. Happy Sunday, fun day. Tell me in the comment what you're having, what you're doing um, in this fish here. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take this pepper out and, uh, and I'm gonna put a little bit, I'm gonna fry it up. My oil is ready, let me just move it over a little bit. Check out the fire, guys, check out the fire. I'm using, um, 
In this, I'm gonna flash fry it, okay? Because it's been uh, several months since I had this fish. It was frozen, uh, so I know if, like, say, if I just brought it back the same week, I'll cook it without flash frying. But because I had it for a while, I'm gonna flash fry it, and in that way, we're gonna hold the masala. I'm gonna hold all the curry sauce. Really good. So I'm gonna flash fry. It. But before I flash fry it, let me show you what I have in here. I put all the ingredients, everything exactly that i'll be cooking it with i put in here so, and i season it up earlier check out uh, my earlier videos that uh showing i think it i think i put it on my story but now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a little bit of curry powder the curry powder and i'll put a little bit of curry powder in here to give it a little nice flavor and uh, before i fry it let's just mix that up Ah, so nice, right? Oh man, I'm so excited to eat this. I actually don't have any saijan or moringa or the um the uh the moringa pads or the saijan to put in it. I have some frozen one. I didn't want the frozen one. Um, so I have some some okra. Look, check it out. I have some fresh okra that I'll put in inside of it, and I also have some green mango. So that's why I'll be cooking this guy with. It all is out with some fresh tomatoes too. But look at that head, how big that head is. Let me know in the comments if you actually like, if you like this fish. I know it's full of bones, okay? So you have to be very careful. It's full of so many bones. So Tommy and John will not be eating this because it's, I will be looking for it. Even, uh, even with me, I will get a hard time sometimes. Okay, so while this is hot, So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, oh, okay. Look how nice that look, how, how seasoned up. You see how nice it looks? And look at the teeth, this is gonna scare you. So I'm gonna give you advice, look. Look how scary those teeth looks. Can you see there, mm -hmm. Tommy? Creepy. Yeah, the thing is I couldn't take them out. I, like, I didn't wanna chop them off because I wanna show you the whole fish and what it looks like, you know. I mean, for my international friends, this is an international show. Good morning, good evening, good night to all our international friends. And again, if you're in India, wherever you are right now, say, hey, listen, I am living here. Or put your flag on there, I love that. So this is a creepy fish. I just wanna show you. And um, the head is pretty hard. So it's not like um, the teeth will come off or so when you're cooking it. It's gonna just stay together. It's creepy, I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have put warning, warning, creepy mm -hmm. fish. <laughs> but anyway, so let's um, go ahead and fry this up. So nice this season. Let's fry it nicely. And now the creepy head. And believe it or not, guys, the creepy head. Guys, the creepy head is the best part of this meal. And so while that's frying up, we'll start cooking our other bit. Oh, who gave me? Was it Johnny or you? Me, man. Oh, Tommy gave this to me. I haven't given you a flower in oh, a long dude. time. A long time. Johnny's going to be jealous if you see that Tommy did this first and he didn't think of it first. That Johnny loves to do this first, <laughs> too. Okay, so while that's cooking up there. We'll start our other meal. And uh, we'll go ahead and um, do the jingi. So I have, my, I have a little bit of oil. And what I'm going to do here also is that I'm going to flash fry the, um, not fry, but saute up the shrimp. The shrimp has everything inside that I'm cooking the whole meal with, except the curry and the, the curry and masala mixture. So I'm going to be putting some curry and masala mixture now. So I'll put some curry and... What did you marinate it with? Pre-season? I pre-season it with just some garlic, onions, and some garden seasoning. Uh, oops, 
Oh, I lost one. And that's a nice one. Guys, yeah, so I mix this up like everything your curry needs. And this has some shadow benny and thyme, all that good stuff. So I'm going to put this in here now to just fry up. I just have some oil in here. And I'm going to put this in here to fry up. Because I don't want to overcook this tasty shrimp. So I'm like bungeeing it a little bit. This is all the nice extra seasoning that was in the other thing too. So I'm gonna just bungee this here a little bit. So I don't overcook the shrimp. Oh, I need a dish today. Yes. Yes. And then, it's really small. I'm also going to put a little bit of tomato paste in it. This is some organic tomato paste that John actually smoked. All right, this guy is cooking up here. Welcome, everybody. So let's um, turn this over. Look how good this is looking. We'll have to open up and put the piece of wood. Go on over this head too. Like no longer to repeat anything. Look how good that looks. Oh my goodness. Oh man, this shrimp smells so delicious. Six. Uh, where is Johnny? I need his help. Guys, look at this. So, I put one of my mar my frozen mariwiri pepper in there. I only have a few left. And I said this deserve a mariwiri pepper, okay? Guys, for all my local Floridian friends, if you're having mariwiri pepper, please like right now of the fresh mariwiri pepper, please um, let me know where I can get some. I'm actually planting some now. And I went, my Auntie Sheila uh, giving me some fresh pepper sauce and some hot hot pepper which i'll be telling you about to do some planting and so on but right now i'm a little short of my fresh peppers i can buy it at the market okay i can buy it at the market but i prefer to get it like it doesn't have the same flavor than if somebody grow it in a garden or something like that so these guys are cooking up we'll have to put a piece of wood so you see i'm cooking up this first and then i will add it later but I just don't want to overcook it. I want it to be intact and I want to leave it. You see how big and nice they are? Look at that. And I want to leave it that way. So while that's bungeeing a little bit. We need a little dish. Yep. Oh, I'm so excited to cook this meal. I want to... I've been so excited to cook this meal, guys. Um, believe it or not, I didn't want to tell everybody what happened to us, but um, our freezer that I had some of my Trinidad meats and some of my Guyana um, served for the last two times we went down to Guyana um, actually went bad. The last time we were here, moving things and so on, for somehow it um, unhooked, the electrical actually came apart. So everything went bad. This is some of the stuff that was left in the other freezer. So this is the only one of this. There's so many things I destroyed. And every time I think of it, or I feel like to eat it, I feel sad. But I know I'll be going to Trinidad soon. So hello, Trinidad. Our next trip around the world will be Trinidad. And we'll be there in about two weeks. And the next one after that will be Guyana. So I'm excited. And then we'll go beyond and beyond and beyond. And we're thinking about going to Thailand and so many places that we really want to visit or I want to revisit, so I'm excited. But right now we're gonna move this around a little bit and put a wood, one piece of wood in here. And you see the shrimp is still cooking up. I'm not, I'm not overcooking it, I'm just bungeeing it and then I will um, do the rest of it. 
Here we go. So while that's cooking up, we see how good that looks, guys. Hello, hello, can uh, Cindy? Hi, Cindy. Hi, Anita. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I use them. Uh, guys, look, look how nice that's looking. And then when the food is finished, I will add it. Um, I will add to it in the um, in the in the jingi, guys. In the jingi. We just need a piece of wood to go in there, and these are some of the fresh ingredients we're using here. Some coconut milk. Hi, Bibi. Hi, Kelly. Hi, um, Sabita. Welcome, my friend. Bagmati, Pasad. Hello, Apple Cherry. Uh, we have Indira. Welcome, welcome, my friend. You put it in? Yeah. Okay. Have, since you're there, say hello to everybody. Hey, guys. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah, nice we're coming through. Loving it. We're sending our love. That's we're sending our love. Yeah. We were just actually talking before we went on all the people that got hit by Hurricane Ian and all the storms falling in the aftermath and all the devastation. It's just crazy what's happened. So I know it's a hard time for a lot of people, a lot of family, but we love you all. Support. Uh, and sending our support and our energy of love. That's, you know, in many ways, that's, that, that's what people need right now. They need that yeah. support. They need a smile. The, you know, they need that upliftment, they need a hug. Just the simplest thing goes a long way. It's the simplest thing, That's okay? It. Okay, let's go ahead and take this off. The fire is back on. And let's take out the shrimp. So the shrimp is finished. And this is almost finished there. The fire is back up. So look at this one, guys. Actually, this is just need to cook. Eat just like this, man. Just I want them nice. like that, man. I know, right? <laughs> Sorry, man, man. <laughs> that's, that's, that looks crazy. That would go good nice over angel hair pasta. Right, right. Look at that, guys. That shrimp looks good. So let me just take this off. I might just leave this like this. That looks too good to go mix it up. I think so. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. I, I, I want to hear you describe the flavor in that. Okay, so this also is finished. Let me just put this here for a minute. And I'm gonna take this off. Uh, this is me flash frying the fish. It's gonna taste so good. I love sometimes to um, do it like this. Look who is here, Mr. John. John in the house. Chef John Fishing is here. What'd you make? Ooh, look at that. What look is at my that ramen. Jenny? I made a curry egg ramen. Hold on, hold on. Let me show the side. No, no, not that side. There's ice in it. That's okay. I want to show the layers. Cool. So what is it? It's a curry egg, um, soft boiled eggs with a soy curry on top and uh, some scallions, some uh, the top and bottom of the scallions, including the spicy broth I made. That's for wow. me? Added. That's for me? So that's fancy ramen? <laughs> is that fancy ramen? It's healthy ramen. Oh my goodness. Look, at that. Look, how, look at the top and of that though. And he creates ramen. So amazing, Johnny! You are you are great, buddy. Man, You're all great. these meals today, jeez. Look at that, guys. Guys, look at how delicious this is looking, right? Look at that. Nice color. Oh. It's going to be so delicious. Let me know your favorite way to eat any fish when you do it curry style, okay? Let me know in the comments. So this is finished. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go ahead and do our dinghy. I'm going to put this back on here. And I'm going to use a little bit of the flavored oil of the fish. A little bit in there. Um, now I'm gonna put my onions. Okay. Yeah, let's show what I'm doing. Putting some onions in there to saute. Ooh, this is gonna be good. All that flavor is gonna get in. Okay, we'll try it. 
Well, oh, that's oh, our you ration. Us some too? Yeah, oh. I got two eggs. Uh, so this is just one egg. You guys can have this egg, and I'll have that egg. You're so okay. kind, Johnny. Thank you. I'm gonna put some garlic in here now. And I also have some turmeric. I'm using some fresh turmeric and fresh ginger. I'll put a little bit in there and a little bit in there. Ginger and turmeric. Just a little bit of tomato paste, just for a little flavor. And uh, look this. See now it's too hot. Yeah. And now I'm gonna put a little bit of curry powder. A little bit of my jeera here, and I'm also gonna put a masala. Some green seasoning and some hot pepper. Stir it in, stir it up, stir it up. I'm cooking this one here with coconut milk. So I'll put some coconut milk to start to cook up that um, curry and the masala and everything in there. Let me know in the comments if you guys would like me to put coconut milk in the, cur in the fish curry, okay? I'm not planning to put any coconut milk in the fish curry. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to put coconut milk in the fish curry also. I'll put some salt in here one time. Oh, I gotta look at the comments guys. Would you like me to put coconut milk in the hurry fish curry? Let me know. Ooh, this is looking good. How many times? 6.20. Um, in the beginning of this video, I cook up this amazing, these are Argentinian shrimp, red shrimp, and I, I cook them up already. I was planning to put them in the uh, jingi, but since this looks so delicious, I think we'll eat it on the side. What do you, th what do you guys think? Then put some uh, green in there. And I think we'll just leave it like this and eat it on the side, okay? We can't wait. And I'll do the jingi just like that by itself because this looks delicious just like that. They taste like baby lobsters. Oh, yeah, they're so, so good. Sweet. They're so good. Look how good this looks. Masala looking good. Okay, guys. Now I'm putting my jingi in here. Let's stir this up. It's been so long since I had this vegetable. And um, I wish I had one, a real one to show you what it looks like. If somebody have a picture right now of it, uh, please share it, please share it. This is the Jingi, it's in the Nenma family. Mm, look how good this is looking. I have a lid for this one. So I'm gonna put this on this side okay. and let it cook on a nice slow heat. I think about oh, the low I took it in the wrong. About the small wood. Yeah. Um, what, what are you guys? You want me to put coconut milk in the fish curry? I don't have any tamarind. Sorry, I don't have any tamarind to put in the fish curry, but I know I need to buy some and have it. You well, know, you know, I need. I keep forgetting. I have the sweet one. But oh man, yes, tamarind would have been so good. Do you want me to put coconut milk in the fish curry? Yes or no, guys? Let me know, let me know. <laughs> this is gonna be great. We have more coconut milk, right, Tommy? Yeah. So I'm putting in the coconut milk now in here. Mm. Nice 
Chinese fire. We haven't used this pit yet. So check this out guys. Make that up and then I'll put some more. Mm, this is gonna be good. I haven't, like I said, I haven't had this in ages. My sister actually has so many freezer. My sister Zorin. Maybe no, I think it maybe it was um Nenwa. Maybe it's not this. But somebody I think it, yes. I think it was this one, not um Nenwa that she gave me from Guyana and it gets spoiled in the freezer so I didn't didn't get to eat it. Okay, so this is good. This is all ready. Um this is all good there for now. And let's go ahead and we'll um cook our fish curry. So excited man, so excited. Well, let us cook, I might need more wood. I'm gonna use some of the same. Guys, I'll be using some of the same um, oil, the fish oil, the oil that I fry it in. So I'll have that flavors in there. So let me show you the one. Do I need to get a lid? Um, yes, we need a lid. Where are you? Are you better to film this way? Or? So again, this is our fish. It's all flash fried. Oh man, this is going to be so delicious. This is the Huri fish from Guyana, King Grove, Guyana. And uh, this is what we are cooking curry style. And um, and I'm asking the audience if you if you would like me to put some coconut milk in it, if you think it'll be delicious, even more so with some coconut milk. They're responding. I saw a couple of yeses. Oh, okay. Oh, um, I don't have to. Oh, I don't know what happened. To me, coconut milk does change the taste of the fish. Okay. Um. Thank you, thank you. Coconut milk change the curry taste. Okay, so don't put coconut milk. I'm already cooking one thing with coconut milk. I'm already cooking uh, one other thing with coconut milk. So if you think, I don't want to change that taste. I want a little, I want that little um, muddish black water taste. Okay, so let me know, let me know. So I'm cooking up some Some onions. I uh, love watching your show here. Thank you. You saw my onions talking. Now check out my amazing spoon. I love this. I also have some turmeric. I'm going to be putting some fresh turmeric and fresh ginger in this food, okay? I want to taste the flavor of it. So I'm going to be putting in some turmeric and ginger that I have over here. Putting that in there to cook up. And you are, smells so delicious guys, smells so delicious. Uh, let's put some of the garlic. Here, Tommy, here, let me switch it to you and you can grab me a wood. So I'm just going to grab another piece of wood and put in there. So I'm going to, um, next I will be putting in my masala and my, uh, let, me, let me actually start putting it in. This is nice heat, it's nice heat. Johnny, help us out here. Um, guys, you're, you're here. Everybody's looking at you. He's asking for something. Hello to everybody. Hello everybody. How is your meal out there? Delicious, nice and spicy and good and tasty. And the umami blast from the ginger and all the herbs that I put in it. Tell me your own Oh, I'm sorry. I'm listening to John talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is cooking up here. And then I'll switch back to tell me and the fire is going to start in a minute. Let me show you how nice the fire is looking. So it's coming up nicely. I don't want too much fire. That's why I didn't want to put too much wood in there, you know? And right now, actually, everywhere is short of wood, so we have to be um, taking care of our wood. But look at this, guys, guys. Who remembers this fish? And tell me in the comment when last you had it. But this is um, the Huri, Huri fish from Guyana, King Grove, Guyana. 
Uh, beautiful, beautiful fish and tasty. Here we go, Tom. Hello? Tom? You can... Oh, okay. So Tommy's going to get a lid for um, for this curry, but let me show you how delicious this is. The jingy curry I'm cooking with some with coconut milk, and I also cook some shrimp. Um, I cook the shrimp like a nice bungee style, um, with some like dry, no water or anything, and um, I cook it for so I can put in here. However. It might not work because it looks so good by itself. You might just eat it on the side. Okay, you might just eat it on the side. So here I have the lid. You good, buddy? Oh, okay. So let's see. So this is coming to a boil. Our fire is back on. I'm gonna just cook this and it's. And this guy here. Um, do I have a wooden long spoon? No, they're in the keys. Oh wait, let me have this one here. Oh look. Looks good. Mm. I'll put some tomato paste in there to cook to um cook up too in the oil. What's up buddy? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. You watching on? Yeah, I'm watching. I'm mm. watching some cooking recipes. I did some um, some uh, wine distillation earlier, and then accidentally threw out all the moonshine. Mm -hmm. Accidentally <laughs> down the drain. <laughs> he's been inventing and uh, yeah, just experimenting. He's with. experimenting all sort of stuff. So now I'm making my little masala. Johnny, check this out. I'm making my little masala and um, curry mix. So for for the curry, for the curry fish. Ooh, that's gonna be so good, man, oh man. I'm making a mess too. And uh, hey, Johnny, where is it? Here, put one of those in there. This is curry leaves, everybody, show them, show them. Curry leaves? Or carpoli. Check it out, what do you call curry leaves? What is the name or so that you call it? I just know it by car carpoli and curry leaves, so Johnny's putting some in there. Ripping it in half so the oil is out. Ah, oh, look how good that's looking. Uh, um, no, no. Okay. One is good. One is good. We'll also put some tomatoes. I'm gonna put in some tomatoes here to cook up, and then I'll put some on the also when it's almost done. I'm in the pro at cutting with stuff in our hands. I can't mm -hmm. do that. Hey, mom. Mm -hmm. Our passion fruit vine has like a a hundred ladybugs on it. Black oh. ladybugs. Oh yeah? Oh, yeah, nice. with red dots on them. Black ladybugs with red dots. That's good. Ladybugs are good when they come in your garden. You want your ladybugs in your garden. Good luck. It's all good luck. Look, that guy is coming to a nice boil. And now I'm going to put all my different curries. Curry masala and some jeera in there. As you're getting on here, thank you so much. Thank you so much. If this show is fun for you, if the show relaxes you, if the show give, give you the amazing vibes, hit that share button, guys. Hit that share button. Let's spread that word out there. There's so many things going on around the world. And what, you know, what these people need also, also, okay, is a hug, is a smile, is someone around the world is thinking of a good thought for that country or that event or whatever is going on so let's put our you know put our hearts and give a big hug to everywhere around the world just imagine you're hugging the whole world okay and um thank you for sharing thank you for leaving a comment and also check us out on our youtube page uh putting in amazing videos or travel vlog over there and um thank you thank you so much for being part of us so look this is cooking Now I'm going to add a little bit of water to cook up that masala. Okay. 
Okay, and while that masala is cooking up, I'll be putting in some okra in there. Check out the okra and also some mango. Remember you already fried the fish. So the fish is pretty much already cooked. So you just need to cook whatever else you're putting in there. Whatever else you're putting in there, you just need to cook that, guys. So we have some okra, some mango that we're putting in there, and some tomatoes. You okay, bud? Yeah. I'm also gonna put a piece of thyme, and this is fresh from the garden also, and this is some fine leaf thyme. I'll put that in there also. Oh, what well, you knew it? I saw a cherry. Oh, yeah? No. You saw wait, wait, one cherry? All the way over here. Oh, pick it, pick it, and bring it. Check it out! Check out this beautiful artistic work of art. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Barbados cherries, or it's also called the Arpiola cherry. If this was salt and pepper, bomb. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, look, I have some salt. Put some on your finger. I have also have some hard man pork. I'll put it in, and let's cook it, and let's stir this in. And see, I put one pepper in there. Look at it. Look, uh, one ma I put a nice marie in there. And let um, cut up some shallots. Hey, Johnny, can you help me take some Is it here? Sure does. Okay. John is gonna take in some dishes. Thank you, bud. Oh. Taking in some dishes. Okay, Johnny. Be right back. And I will cut off some of these amazing sh um, scallions. I love these guys. They're a little sharper, so I'm gonna put some in here. I'm letting this really cook up nice and then I'm going to put a little bit of water. And for some of you who are now joining us, we also made, we made some shrimp. We bungeed the shrimp earlier to put in our vegetable, in our um, jingi. But the shrimp looks so good, I'm going to be we'll be eating it on the side as a matter of fact let me just i don't have any fork out here but i'll use this okay let's try the shrimp nice bungee with fresh seasoning garlic onion tomato paste let's try it mm. wow mm. my tommy you're gonna be so impressed This is delicious. Oh my goodness, so delicious. I'm not gonna put it in the, um, I would not put it, we'll eat it on the side, guys. We'll eat it on the side. The spice is perfect, and the masala and everything. Oh my goodness, I'll be cooking like this all the time. This is so nice. Wow, that's very tasty, Tommy. So tasty, all right. So it's a good one. The mango and the okra and the tomato and all that curry sauce, garlic, onion, turmeric, ginger, all that good stuff is all marinating and cooking on a nice slow heat. Look how nice and slow that heat is. So everything is cooking on a nice slow heat. And over here, this look at a vegetable, how tasty and delicious this is looking. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yummy. This will be good vegetables. You can eat it with some paratha roti, some sada roti. You can also eat it with some naan. It's so delicious with some butter naan. However, we made some rice and that's what we will be eating it with. And also we'll be eating it with some paratha roti, guys. Some paratha roti. Um, you know what, Tommy? We're supposed to get some hot water. 
We have to get some hot water. Sorry, our hot water become cold. So let's put these guys in here. So we'll put our fish in there. Actually, yeah. Because these are tougher fish, so I'm not afraid they're gonna come apart. So I'm gonna put this in there now. Put these guys in there nicely, let them sit. The tail and the head are my favorite part of a fish, of any fish. <laughs> Look how good this is. Actually, I'm gonna open one on camera. Let's see what this looks like. While that's cooking there, I'm gonna add, let's add a little bit of water. I don't want too much, too much. I want to, I don't want it too soupy because it's just me eating it, you know. Okay, I'm gonna just, you don't wanna over stir. There you go. There you go. You like shake it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, it's gonna be so yummy. It's gonna be so yummy. Wow, wow. Let me know in the comment um, your favorite ways to cook any fish, guys. Any fish. And let me know your favorite way to eat this particular fish. And this is the I don't know the real name for it. It's the Guyana. Um, it, it's from Guyana. It's called the Huri fish. Huri fish. Put this a little bit more heat. The guy is cooking. So this guy is coming to a boil here. And we'll throw a little bit of so a little bit of green seasoning in there, and at the end we'll also put some more. Okay, while well, those guys are cooking up, let's get over here and let me show you while that's... So all, I just will let that come to a boil. It will come to a boil and about less than 10 minutes, everything is finished. Well, let me show you. Look how nice that fish looks. See? This is so delicious. So let's try it. I know, I know it has so many bones, so we got to be careful. We got to be extra careful. It's a very, it's a fish that has a lot of tiny bones so let's try this tasty white piece mmm wow <laughs> so good <laughs> wow 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 mmm mmm look how nice and seasoned that looks too you see my fingers are in everything and my fingers are a little yellow because I was chopping up the um turmeric and believe me those guys stay in everything but that's good it's actually making my nails healthier. Look, let's try this. I like the end pieces like this with the skin on it. Let's try it. Mmm, so good. Wow, very, very delicious, guys. Mmm, mmm, look at that. washing cleaning up mm. this is coming to a boil let's put a little bit of salt to taste I already seasoned the fish with some salt so you don't want to over salt it guys look how good this is looking so delicious, so delicious. Oh, the music. Oh my gosh. So yummy, oh my goodness. Here. So while this is coming to a boil, um, and let's check on this guy over here. Oh, look how good, it's getting soft. Look, look how nice that's looking. Mmm. Look how good. I can't wait to eat this. So I'll be covering, I'm going to be covering everything now uh, for it to cook. 
uh, I want to thank you so much for joining us. I'll take a little video. I'll get on here live and show you the end result, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to go clean up a little bit. Clean up a little bit. And then um, come back and show you the end of the meal. I'll, let it, I'll put in one more piece of wood there and let it cook. So thank you all. Thank you all. Stay amazing, everybody. And I uh, will see you in a little bit at the end product. But let me show you one more time. We're going to go get a lid for this and cover this up like cook on a nice slow heat. I don't want to rush it. And I, I, I know you have your Sunday and uh, you're spending time with your family and all that good stuff. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and then we'll get back or I'll take a video of this, okay? Look, look how nice that's looking. I actually will not put any more wood in here. I'm going to let this same heat cook this food. Because if I put any more wood, you're going to overcook it. Look how nice that fire is. Look, it's perfect for the rest of this cooking. So I'm going to just leave it like this and let it cook nice and slow. And I'll get back on or I'll take a little video, guys. Stay amazing, everybody. Stay amazing. Love you. And I'll talk to you later. Leave a comment. Shout out where you're from. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome. This is Sandy from Sandy's Backyard Kitchen Food and Travel. Thank you, guys. Thank you.